hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a text field in odoo and if you missed previous discussion about how to create a character field please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo development 17 tutorial is here and you can see right now we are working on this odoo 17 fields development tutorial and this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 development tutorial and if you want to learn more about Odoo with the different topics, you can see this is the Odoo development. And once you click here, you can see different apps of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. Right. And guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe this channel and it will help me a lot. So let's back to our main topic, like how to create a character field. So here we need to understand what is the difference between text field and the character field. Right. So let me delete the rest of the data, the blank data. And here you can see, right? Here we talked about the character field. This character field having the limitations to store the data, right? But let's say there is a, some data, the huge data you want to store in the database. Then in this case, the text field come to the picture, right? So first thing is we have to define the text field in the Python side and after that we have to register that field in the view side. So let's do the same thing. So here I'm trying to open the student model, module, the model and the model name is the wp.student and here we will see like let's say the address fields, right? So we have to import from Odoo as a fields lib and using this library we have to use here fields dot and text that's it and this address we have to register in the views so you can see this is our view and this is our address field now i'm trying to upgrade this module but i'm using the pycharm configuration so i'm trying to upgrade from here in case you don't know how to configure odoo 17 in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained how to do it right and once i'm trying to upgrade this module upgrade upgrade is compulsory because we added a new field in the python side and we registered the same field in the python in the xml side in i mean in the view side right and after here we have to just refresh the screen and now you can see here this is the character field right you can just you can see here the difference is hover in my i'm hovering here you can see the bottom line is border line is this one right for this one for the name three for name four is the read only but once i hover here in the address you can see the three lines after you can see the bottom border right and you can see here i'm trying to add multiple data using the text field so this is the feature of the text field you can store as long data not only like this but you can actually store the json data in the database okay so this is the first thing now if you remember here i didn't mention anything here in the python side right the label name so by default it will take the label name as a field name if in case you have like something like this right the underscore so it will remove the underscore and first words it would be always capital so if you go to here you can see it's capital right and let's say you don't want to use the default as address but you have to use like something different name so you have to use here the string as attribute let's say student address and here we have to just upgrade the module right and here once i will refresh the screen you can see it's now student address okay another thing is let's say if i'm trying to remove this one string right still this is the this is considered as a label okay so label. let's say i'm trying to use like this without the string attribute in the field level once i'm refresh the screen you can see here student address level the level automatically change right and here so let's talk about the different attributes supported by the text field so first one is the read only by default it's a false 
right and let's say you want to add as a read only you can just use read only equal to true you have to restart the service no need to upgrade the module once you refresh the screen right now you can see i'm not able to edit anything but if i'm going to here i can see the border the bottom border right but here once i'm hovering here you can see it's completely read only and the label name color is also changed right the light color now let's say the another one is the required so required means let's say this field should be mandatory for the users right so we can just use here the required by default it's a false and once you refresh the screen right once you refresh the screen and once i'm remove the all the content and once i'm trying to save the record right you can see here the odoo gives me this error student address label is invalid so at least I have to add some data, right? So this is the purpose of the required attribute. Another thing is the help. Right, so this one automatically treat as a tool tip. So once I'm refresh the screen, and you can see here all these fields right name field one three four and this one you cannot see here the question mark right but you can see here this question mark once i over here you can see enter here student address so this is the purpose of the help as a tooltip okay you can use as a help another thing is the default let's say hello student address something like this right uh, restart the service no need to upgrade the module and once I'm refresh the screen right and the default this one it's not for the this is not for the existing records but once you create a new record right automatically the content by default pre field uh, you can say the default values right let's say user is not input anything but by default what is the default value we have to set so here in this case we have to use the default okay so this is the main purpose and yes for the existing records you cannot see because it's already available with the different data based on the user input right but let's say once you click this new button after automatically you can see pre-fill with the default value so this is the main purpose of the default right and let's say let's talk about the same thing in the xml side so here this address field right here we can add here invisible and we just use as a one by default it's a zero right i mean the false but let's say we have to invisible this field we can use here invisible equal to one here we required upgrade the module okay once i will refresh the screen now you can see this field the student name label field is automatically high right let's say i want to add as a read only so same here i'm just using read only equal to one and refresh the screen and you can see it's a read only right and the likewise you can also use here the required equal to one by default it says zero or by default whatsoever you provide here right the required equal to true or false based on that it will accordingly act or else you can also override from here so let's check so let's say by default this is the value right let me remove all the content and i'm trying to save the field but right now you can see these two fields is mandatory so due to that you can see here the list of fields available with the common message invalid field right then after class holder student address let's say i'm trying to upgrade the module right 
and let's say you want to show the customer you want to display some information to the customer right you can see here enter student address so once this field is blank after automatically display here the class folder whatsoever you provide right and once you write it will automatically hide so here you can same as the tooltip right you can also add here such messages let's say the guy is not more techy right so here this is the placeholder attribute is comes to the picture so and another thing is yes the string std and class so let's you see here the student address label right it's this label you want to override here then you have to just use string the same way attribute you have to upgrade the module and refresh the screen you can see here you will see here the effect right std address all right so this is the all about the text field if you have any doubt related to this field please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be html field all right so see you there